The easiest way to depression is self-comparison, which will eventually lead to strife, envy, and jealousy, and even resentment. Generally, what our people in our Niger slang call bad belly. But what people don't know is that self-comparison is actually a very human, natural tendency in which we tend to evaluate our lives by looking into other people's lives. But once this is not controlled, it is going to bring in so much negativity into your life. And if you are subscribed to this channel, you know that what we are about here is self development and improvement so we don't want such negativity in our lives slowing us down and holding us back from reaching our full potentials fortunately i have brought this video to help you out if you are on such paths let's give you three instant and powerful ways to stop comparing yourself with whoever and also help you have a deep sense of self-worth and self-value i want you to like this video and let us jump right into this video without any further audio now we will begin with the first step which i consider the most important on this topic which is to challenge negative talks more especially negative self-talks this is basically when you see yourself comparing yourself i want you to consciously replace those negativity replace that negative thoughts with a more positive thoughts let me create a scenario here to give you more insight and also as an example for you to understand better what i am talking about let's say you see a successful lady she has everything she has it all she has the perfect um, home you know the perfect body she's pretty you are for a reason jealous of these things or you know see yourself comparing yourself in the areas that you are lacking that probably the person has now i want you to instead of saying oh she's this she has da da da, da she has everything she's successful I'm not going to be as successful as she is. I wanted to replace that thought with I have my own goals, I have my own accomplishments, and I am focused on my own goals and I am doing well for myself. This is going to make you replace every negativity with something positive. You don't need to talk down on yourself because of someone else is doing better i want you to understand that self-improvement is not a destination self-improvement rather is a journey and in this journey there is no perfection there is only progress so when you focus on your goals when you focus on your own accomplishments when you set realistic goals for yourself i want you to be so focused on these goals that you have no time into looking into someone else's lives and even if you unconsciously do this i want you to consciously get back to yourself and replace these negative self-talks these talks most of the times when we see ourselves comparing um, ourselves with other people we tend to talk down on ourselves you know but i want you to know that there is time and season for everything that person is probably in his or her thriving time there are unique times for different people so do not always hype someone else up in order to bring yourself down you are amazing you are doing well for yourself i want you to say these things to yourself when those thoughts come to you you have your own goals you have your own accomplishments you have things you are doing for yourself and you are getting to your own goals and achieving your set goals whatever it might be if you actually put the time into it you are going to get there so please reject and refuse every negative talking down on yourself and seeing someone better the thing is that we don't actually know what is going on behind the closed doors especially on social media which i think is one of the platforms where people try to compete and um, compare themselves a lot with other people you don't know what is happening behind right sometimes people put up with for an example a lady you you're seeing on um you know a lady you're seeing on the gram that seems to have it all might be dealing with abuse might be dealing with cheating in order to keep up with this lifestyle and to show you guys and probably to impress you there is this saying that when people bring out all their problems and place it on the table you are going to rush back your own trouble meaning that 
you don't actually know what people are going through that when you actually live their own lives for a day it might be too much for you to handle and you have to run back to your own life so i want you to know that you are on your way to achieving your own goals and actually set realistic goals and take steps that will help you to achieve those goals and consciously tell yourself and remind this to yourself each time you see yourself slacking and trying to compare yourself with whoever be that made known that you should replace negative thoughts with positive ones we are going to be going into the second tip which is stop feeling threatened by other women listen women are not a threat okay sometimes we are triggered by this feeling of threats when you see someone else doing better than you or you see the person might not even be doing better than you currently probably you see potentials of the person doing better than you in the future you know people are so relaxed or you might be so relaxed with somebody that is on the same level with you but once you see that person achieving a higher level of success or maybe surpassing you in an area of field especially people that is of your pair your peer group right you start to feel threatened you start to have this feeling of being threatened by their success by their beauty or whatever good thing that is going on for that person i want you to understand that that person is not a threat to you and instead of feeling threatened by that person i want you to consciously replace that fear or that feeling of threat with inspiration listen if you want to grow you want to be surrounded with people see it from this point that if you want to grow you want to be surrounded with people that will also help you grow and also uplift you if nobody is doing better than you in your friend group I want you to change that group you want to be in, around people that will inspire you and people that will challenge you into becoming better so instead of feeling threatened by these people draw motivation from them and also reject the scarcity mentality the scarcity mentality is just a point where you feel like the sky is not big enough for everybody to thrive but the sky is actually big enough for all of us to thrive if you feel and if you think and if you believe it is so you see how important reshaping your mind is going to help you to stop comparing yourself love yourself and help you build your self-worth it all starts and ends with your mindset and the way you think so just shift your perspective from being threatened to drawing inspiration from these people you are also going to get there whatever they have let it inspire you into working harder into driving harder and working harder and putting more effort into having that now lastly in this section is practicing or cultivating the habits of contentment and gratitude gratitude having gratitude or having something you're grateful for every day is actually going to shift your mind or reframe your mind into focusing more on the positive than the negative things happening in your life and practice gratitude by probably looking at your life evaluating your life and pinpointing something you are grateful for every single day be it relationships be it your friends your family your career whatever that you are grateful for i want you to write it down journalize it have a journal where you practice you know or where you write whatever you are grateful for each day like i said earlier this is going to shift your mind into focusing on the positive things that are happening in your life instead of the negative things or the things that you want but you don't physically have yet now this just doesn't stop at writing things you're grateful for out or journalizing things you're grateful for you can also extend it by appreciating people in your life whoever that has contributed into your success story you can also reach out to them and appreciate people just have this deep sense of gratitude daily and trust me it is going to make a whole lot of difference and also i think i have mentioned earlier i wanted to 
focus more on the positive things happening in your life put more energy into the positivity and surround yourself with women that are ready to uplift you women that are ready to cheer you up ready to clap for you but for now i want you to keep clapping for others until it is your turn for others to clap for you and they eventually will as long as you keep on you know putting in the work don't give up this is that video that is going to help you in this channel we do everything self-improvement and you are going to be missing out on so much if you are not subscribed to my channel i hope this video was in any way helpful to you if it was please don't forget to like this video and also subscribe so you don't miss further content from my channel